we have a rabbit in, in the drawing room. Standard. Welcome to Friday the 27th of May. This is what I'm looking like right now. I'm in my gym gear, ready to go. I'm going to get tattooed today. Um, I'm going to get my tattoo that I already have on my arm topped up, get a bit more life brought into it. Um, Lex has gone out, I have my car back, I'm so happy. And that is the story. Then I'm going to go to the gym and then we're going for Indian food later. And I'm in prep, just over 12 weeks out. Roxy, what do you think? What do you think, Roxy? So I'm here in Calm, just about to go into tattoo we said tattoo so I'll link her down below for her Instagram page if you want to look at some of her work you will have seen me here last week with uh, Nikki when Nikki was getting her tattoo so here we are You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside there's no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside there's no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking Here it is. lately Got some color. <laughs> <laughs> so all done with Lisa. My arm is all wrapped up in cling film. The way I look after it is um, I'll leave this on for the rest of the day. Then tonight I'll kind of wash it down with just some soap and water and then just cover in a moisturizer and I'll wrap it up again tonight and then do the same again tomorrow and then I'll leave the air at it then tomorrow. So that's the way I deal with my tattoos. Um, I usually use like a fragrance free Aveeno is probably the best moisturizer you can use. Um, it's nice and calming on your tattoo and just don't pick at the scabs and let it just heal naturally. And um, I'm off into Le Starbucco for a coffee pre-workout. I am going to train legs. I have a schedule for myself, I'll have to check it because I don't want to put any pressure on my arm or you know, make it sore. So I'm gonna be careful with my training today. Um, where am I in my prep? A lot of people have been wondering. I started my prep 18 weeks out, obviously, um, going to body power and having Nikki here who wants to you know eat and enjoy ourselves and um, being at body power um, I'm just not eating the same kind of food that I normally would as you know I'm good at cooking I like to prep my food and um, hit my macros quite accurately when we are at body power and at different expos it's hard to track your food you know we're eating at a place like Nando's and um, I won't be eating as much during the day like I'll have like snacks like protein bars and stuff and when we're at the expos we're literally at them from like nine o'clock in the morning until six in the evening and it's a long day we don't get to train I don't do cardio so um, it kind of threw me off and normally at the expos I'll put on maybe like I can put up on up to like five pounds and you know so a lot of that's water weight from eating like crappier foods but um, this time I actually I put on two pounds straight after the expo which drops off straight away as I started eating properly again and I was just back to what I was so I hadn't put on any weight at body power and then over the next couple of days after when I started eating properly I dropped another couple of pounds and I was down to um, 117 pounds 0.8 so pretty much around 118 pounds today I'm at 119 pounds I've been going up and down up and down over the last couple of days I think it's kind of you know the scones and afternoon teas kind of catching up on me so I'm just gonna stick with it and hope for the best I usually like to get down to about 108 107 pounds so I'm still aiming for that so that's about well, about 11 pounds 12 pounds to lose in 12 weeks so fingers crossed I get there and um, we don't really have anything coming up event wise so hopefully I will be able to stick to it but like scones and like treats are calling to me it's not easy sticking to a diet even if you have the goal of step stepping on stage it's not easy and 
I like food and I like good food, I like bad food, I just like flavours. So it's hard for me to get to where I want to be but I am going to try my best for you guys because I know you support me. And we'll see how I go. Um, I don't feel like I look great at the moment. My upper body, as you can see, like my upper body, always very lean and um, don't hold much weight in my upper body apart from when I put on loads of fatty fatty bum bums from eating crap. But my lower body, it's just, you'll have seen in all my videos when I'm training, I don't hide my big bum. I've got a big bum, I've got big legs, and that's where I hold all my weight, and it's hard. I've never actually had, like, super shredded legs, ever. Like, people will ask me, oh, how did you get rid of your cellulite? I don't. Like, I still have, like, cellulite year-round. Even when I'm stepping on stage, I can just... You know, I, I pose in a certain way so that you can't see it. But I never have perfectly smooth legs. And um, I'd like to get to a point where I get super shredded and even my legs get shredded. But I feel like my upper body will look emaciated if I get super shredded in my lower body. Because my upper body already looks really lean when I get down to stage weight. So I'm going to try and hold off on um, you know reversing out of my diet this time i think that's the mistake i've made before i get down to stage weight i step on stage and then i'm like okay i'm done now so this time i'm going to step on stage and then i'm going to step on stage again and then i'm going to step on stage again i'm going to do a few shows this year and see how i get on and just challenge myself and then i'm going to do a proper reverse diet no more excuses i think last year i was meant to reverse out of my diet and then my nana died and that was like kind of out of um i wasn't expecting that and i had to go home and it was hard to stick to like count my macros when i'm at home at a funeral i can't be really asking people for weighing scales and things like that and then we got home and then we went to mexico to an all-inclusive hotel with beautiful food and then it was hard to stick to it and then we got home and it was Christmas so it was like one thing after another after another so this year I'm going to try my best to reverse properly out my diet and let my metabolism recover because I feel like I've just been dieting for a show like almost like binge eating for a couple of weeks then dieting for an expo then you know going to the expo and eating all around me and it's just like up and down and my body just hasn't had a chance to recover so I want to give my body the proper opportunity to recover this time and be able to deal with it because I'm finding dieting a lot harder this time I'm not seeing the results as quickly as I normally do and I think it's I've only got myself to blame so take you know advice from me and don't do silly things like getting down to stage weight and then eating Krispy Kreme for like 12 weeks solid. Just be clever, be smart, like you only have one body, you have to live in it forever. And I have to listen to my own advice because I feel like I get down to stage weight and I just like think, okay, I've done it, I look great on stage in a bikini, I've done what I wanted to for my YouTube channel and then I just forget about it and that's not right and learn from my mistakes. Um, your body is the only body you live in forever, you don't get to replace it. No amount of plastic surgery or anything else or quick fixes will make you, um, you know, live forever and appreciate your body because I think I'm rambling now. I'm sorry. But you get the gist. It's just to look after yourself and not be aiming to just look aesthetically perfect. You should be feeling internally, physically good as well. So that is my note to you today. Love you guys update. I'm going to record more because I've been useless. Bye. Because if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be.